I'm going to demonstrate the wet and wet technique. Ideally, you would have clean water. Um, I'm going to take my paintbrush, and without dipping in any paint at all, I'm just going to paint water on my paper. So you can see uh, my water is tinted blue. I didn't follow the rules. It's not totally clean water. So there is a really, really light tint of blue on my paper. Um, I'm going to use blue, so that's no problem, but this kind of illustrates the importance of having clean water, especially if that's not the color I wanted to use. So I did a bit of talking there, so I'm just going to make sure that space uh, still is wet with water here. And then I'm going to drop my paint in. So you can either do a stroke like this, or depending on what your goal is in your artwork, maybe you just do a few small marks like this. But do you see that fuzzy, kind of hazy edge this effect creates? Maybe you do more than one color to see how that works. I'm going to choose an analogous color, uh, purple or violet. So it's actually kind of hard to see where I painted that water. So along this edge is pretty straight, probably because uh, that area is dry. So let's see what happens when I put it in the wet side. Alright, there you have it. Wet and wet.